The testing center right here uh, behind me at Rabin Square in central Tel Aviv is practically empty. It has been uh, like that all morning. What a difference from uh, the sites here at the same place about a month ago. Back then, at the height of uh, the fourth wave, there were very long uh, lines here. And in other places around the country, there were reports of people waiting three, maybe even four hours just to get uh, tested. Back then, of course, uh, the Jewish holidays were on. And there were daily reports of some 10,000 positive uh, cases. Uh, fortunately, now the numbers are far lower, and uh, this is why this place is, is practically empty. And uh, now uh, comes uh, the request for more and more uh, regulations to be uh, taken away, more steps to be taken uh, to allow Israel to go back to normalcy. Uh, one of them is the return of uh, tourism. Uh, overseas uh, tourists uh, will be allowed, uh, according to the plan, uh, to go come back into Israel as of uh, November the 1st, not from uh, all of the countries of uh, the world. The first stage will be allowing uh, tourists from some uh, 40 countries to uh, enter Israel. Of course, uh, those countries that have agreements uh, with uh, Israel regarding uh, vaccinations, that means uh, European countries and others. That also means that Israel will allow uh, people with uh, uh, Moderna vaccines and with a Chinese vaccine, mostly given uh, to those in uh, the UAE, in Abu Dhabi and Dubai, to come into Israel. Uh, the process will be similar uh, to those uh, Israelis traveling from abroad, meaning those coming into Israel, foreign tourists, will be required to have a PCR test taken some 72 hours before they board the flight into Israel. And once they land, they take another test at the airport, and then they go into quarantine until uh, that uh, test comes in. And, uh, of course, many people here in Israel are waiting for uh, tourists and people, from uh, visitors from overseas, to uh, come back into Israel, we spoke uh, to people here at Rabin Square. Let's listen to what they had to say. I mean, personally, I'm really excited about it. My family's American. My mom wants to come here in December. So from a personal standpoint, I'm definitely waiting for it. Jonathan Regev, I-24 News.